One side is, woo! Hi everybody, it's Zia and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, if you're the one of the 10 to 20 people who've seen my videos before, then welcome back. Really glad that you're here. Yesterday I went to TJ Maxx looking for a mirror and ended up with a lot more than just the mirror I was looking for. So I decided to make a haul out of it and I hope you enjoy it. So let's just get right into the video. So the first thing I got, which is the only thing I was really looking for, is this mirror here. And I actually needed a new one because the one that I've been using is about three times the size of this and the base is really huge and it just takes up a lot of space and when I try to film my videos, it blocks out a lot of the sunlight coming in from my window. So it kind of screws things up and half of my face is like in a shadow and hopefully this will help make it better. And one side is, woo! One side is a regular mirror and the other side is a three times magnifier. And it was only $16.99, so I think that's a bargain because a lot of the other ones that I've seen cost like $30 and I'm not paying that much for a mirror. It's ridiculous. So the next things I got were these Dr. Lip Bang Lip Freak Buzzing Lip Buzzing Chapsticks. And I actually have tried these before. I have them in Cinnamon and Berry Sinister. I actually have the Berry Sinister one right here because the labels on these ones are all covered in TJ Maxx stickers and it just takes away from the look of it all. So here I have Berry Sinister, which I've had for a while. And the packaging is really, really cute. And it's 100% natural. These really do make your lips buzz or vibrate and it's really fun to use. I know it's kind of weird. It can get a little bit uncomfortable and the buzzing lasts for like, it says it's supposed to last about 20 minutes but it always ends up lasting about half an hour to 45 on me. Like today I put it on before I did my makeup and the whole time it was buzzing. It's really interesting to use. I don't think I really need this many of them but my fiance was with me and he picked up all of them that we saw so he really likes using them too. And I have new ones in Clockwork Orange, Bubble Trouble, and Atomic Cherry. Next I got this sheet mask from a brand called Forever Luminous. I've never heard about this before and I don't know where you would get this normally other than TJ Maxx. It's a hydrating facial wrap with wild cherry and collagen. And it's supposed to be a smoothing, rejuvenating 20 minute facial therapy mask. And here's the packaging. I've used a bunch of sheet masks. I love sheet masks. Any kind of facial mask. This, I love using them all the time. And they're so moisturizing. And it just like feels like you're at a spa, but you're at home. So I've never had something that had cherry in it for a facial mask. So I thought that was interesting. And it was only 99 cents. So I figured I might as well throw it into my basket and take it with me. Next, I have two foot treatments because I just gotta be gross. I'm gonna tell you anyway. I have really dry feet and it is so frustrating. I will scrub them with the pumice stone thing and then slather them in Vaseline and all that and it's just always dry. It's always dry. It's not like my feet are like crackling apart or anything but the skin is really really rough. They don't look rough but they feel rough to me. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Anyway, so I figured I might as well try some foot treatments. The first one I have here is from Spa Life, and it's supposed to be an exfoliating foot treatment uh, with eucalyptus oil and granular walnut seeds. Hmm. I don't think I even read all of that when I was in the store. Here's what it looks like. And they're supposed to be like little socks, and you put them on for how long is this? Half an hour. So you put this on for half an hour, apparently you can't walk when you're doing these, so you better be pretty prepared to not do anything while you have this on. Apparently what you do is put it onto your feet for half an hour, and then rinse off your feet with warm water. When you're... It says noticeable results after one use, for maximum results used bi-weekly, so yeah. I'm interested in trying that. This one was $1.99 for one foot treatment. This one has two pairs and it was 
These ones are the Deep Moisturizing Foot Therapy Booties. It's basically the same idea as the other one. It says to remove booties from packaging, use scissors to cut apart left and right booty. Then take one booty and cut across the seal at the top. There's a lot more steps in using this one. Apparently you have to cut the actual booties into, you know, to be able to get your feet in them and everything. Next, I have this heavy duty cellulite cream for butts that are way too busy for dimples. And I've never heard of this brand, but the packaging was cute and that shouldn't be the only reason I buy things. But it just makes you want to use things more, right? It's not just me. It can't be. It says 100% quality. Heavy duty cinnamon and caffeine cellulite reducing body lotion. Helps visibly reduce the appearance of cellulite. Enriched with cinnamon and caffeine for quick and targeted delivery. Firms and tones the skin. Directions. Massage into the trouble spots on the body where the firming and tightening is desired. Use twice a day for 20 to 30 minutes as a part of oh, seconds. <laughs> I'm not gonna rub this on my body for 30 minutes. As a part of your heavy duty high performance skincare routine, massage into the area until absorbed, as you would with any lotion, right? I mostly got this for my thighs because I'm still getting used to wearing shorts. Like, I haven't always worn shorts. In fact, I stopped wearing anything above the knee um, around the time I was like about 9 or 10 years old. There's a whole story behind it. If anyone's interested in hearing about that, I will eventually probably put it out there. But right now, I'm not going to go into all that. But I'm really excited to use this because I've never actually used anything for cellulite. So, hopefully this helps out a little bit. I do use a coffee scrub about twice a week, um, but I, I tend to forget, so it ends up being once a week or once every two weeks. It's probably not helping a lot because I'm not consistent with it, but maybe I'll be more consistent with this lotion. So the last thing I got were these herbal body washes from the brand Hemp's. These are the Strawberry Cheesecake Herbal Body Washes. I actually have this in the body lotion that I also found at TJ Maxx a few weeks ago, and it smells exactly the same. Like, it smells so good that you kind of want to eat it, but don't eat it, because this is not food. This is body wash. If you can find this anywhere, I would say get it, because anytime that I wear the lotion, everybody smells it. Like, I could walk around for hours, and that stuff does not wear off. It doesn't have a really overbearing smell, it's just really nice. Okay, well, I have nothing else to show you. That was my little haul that I did at TJ Maxx yesterday. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like these kind of videos, please let me know. I actually have a plus size clothing haul, and if you want to see it, you can either click right here or right here. There'll be something somewhere. And I'll also link it down below in case you want to watch. So if you liked it, please don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!